Hi everybody, Dr. Daniel, and today I'm talking about the subject of pain behind one eye. I'm going to start off with a little vignette. She told me, you know, I don't think it's a migraine because it starts the back of my neck and then comes forward. I ask, is it on one side of the neck? She said, yes, it is. Come to think about it, it starts on one side of my neck and then it comes around and settles behind one eye. Like it starts from the back right side of my head. Minutes later, I move around to hurt behind my right eye. I just stayed silent and just nodded. She continued, Behind my eye becomes a horrible, intense, red-hot pain that throbs and hurts when I move. I said, You really should see a doctor about it. Pain behind one eye. Pain behind one eye is usually migraine. Migraine comes from a word that means half of head. The migraine process can direct pain from the C2 cervical, second cervical nerve root just on one side and then move to the trigeminal fifth cranial nerve distribution which supplies pain fibers to behind the eye through the spinal cord. Most persons who start like this with pain behind just one eye will also have other migraine headache features such as intense level 8, 9, or 10 pain on a scale of 1 to 10 throbbing pain from an expanding, inflamed blood vessel dilating with the pulse of a heartbeat, nausea and vomiting as the migraine turns on the brainstem vomit center, and sensitivity to light and sound. Related questions. What are other possible causes of eye pain? I have a reference here from the Mayo Clinic website. Eye pain could be due to allergies, blepharitis, which is eyelid inflammation, chalazion, a type of cyst on your eyelid, cluster headache, complications of eye surgery, contact, contact lens problem, corneal abrasion or scratched, scratch, corneal herpetic infections, dry eyes to increase production of tears, ectropion, outwardly turned eyelid, entropion, inwardly turned eyelid, eyelid infection for an object in the eye, glaucoma, a group of conditions that damage the optic nerve, Injuries such as from blood trauma or burn. Iritis, which is inflammation of the colored part of the eye. Keratitis, inflammation of the cornea. Optic neuritis, inflammation of the optic nerve. Pink eye, which is a viral infection called conjunctivitis. Scleritis, inflammation of the white part of the eye. And a sty, which is a red painful lump near the edge of your eyelid. Or uveitis, which is inflammation of the middle layer of the eye. Well, what about pain behind the eye with normal eye appearance? Doesn't have any inflammation, redness, or anything. It's not tearing, no, no trauma. Pain behind the eye should involve the anatomical structures that are there, which are mainly the ophthalmic artery, the optic nerve, and trigeminal nerve pain fibers. Neurologic exam consisting of checking vision, pupillary reactions, eye movement, and intraocular inspection with an ophthalmoscope should be performed in MRI. Imaging of the brain eyeball can be included in the workup. Why does migraine headache come just on one side? Nobody knows the answer to this question, but it's certainly true. Galen, living 129 BC to 216 BC, was the doctor to one of the Roman Caesars, and he described a headache syndrome he called hemicrania. This means half of head, like the word hemisphere means half of a sphere. As time went on, the H-E part of the word was dropped. The name became Micrania, then Megram, and finally Migraine. The current name is used in the last 100 years or so. One-sidedness is the most common accompanying feature of migraine, and 80% of migraine patients have one-sided headaches. How can the symptoms of migraine move from the C2 nerve in the back of the neck area to the trigeminal fifth cranial nerve behind the eye position? No one knows the answer to this question either, but migraine is something that really likes to move around the body. Think of the four migraine phases, prodrome, aura, attack, postdrome, each reflecting different neurochemical and neurophysiologic metabolisms with different symptoms. Syncope, known as fainting, is a simple clinical event. The patient may have a premonitory warning of dizziness, feeling faint, whatever that is, lightheaded or visual blackout, and then they fall unconscious for a few minutes and recovered. Compared to syncope, migraine is exceedingly complex with many varying symptoms and neurologic processes activated as time passes. An attack of migraine has a procession of symptoms it goes through. 
The patient may develop an aura of visual images which move across the retina, or paresthesia, which is tingling. It develops in the fingers, and it moves to the hand, and it moves to the forearm, and then the cheek and tongue on one side. The migraine with our patient may start with mild headache that then advances to become severe while nausea and then vomiting are added to the mix. This is a movement of different symptoms. Migraine does that. Pain moving from neck to eye is something migraine can easily do. Pain in the back of the neck has a big differential diagnosis and could be many things. That is true. The differential diagnosis for neck pain could be muscle strain from whiplash, traumatic neck flexion or extension problem, unusual sleeping position or neck posture like painting the ceiling with an elevation of the neck chin up, a herniated cervical disc, occipital neuralgia, stress and anxiety or acute torticollis. But none of these conditions are described as leaving the neck and moving around the head to a high in one eye, none of them later in development symptoms has nausea, vomiting, or sensory delight and sound. Neck pain usually does not have migraine features unless it's the start of a migraine. If pain in the back of the neck on one side is a migraine symptom, when should you treat it? The pain should be treated with a triptan at onset, preferably with one of the rapid-acting triptans that works in 10 minutes, such, such as injectable, subcutaneous, 6 milligrams sumatriptan or 5 milligrams zomatriptan nasal spray. If those are not available, then consider Timolol eye drop or 1 cc intramuscular injection of nasal spray DHE or one of the slower acting 30 minutes to onset oral drugs such as risotriptan, almatriptan, or elatriptan. If the patient is a triptan non responder or if he has cardiovascular risk factors like a previous heart attack or out of control high blood pressure, that limit the use of triptans, the patient may try one of the new 2020 acute migraine drugs, which drugs which are Neurotech, <clears throat> Rayval, or Ubrevly. My doctor wanted to work up neck pain and do neck x-rays in an MRI scan. If the patient has a typical migraine history with transfers of pain from the neck to the eye and then the development of throbbing, sphere pain, nausea, vomiting, sensory light and sound, and triptan treatment that's successful, then work up her neck physiology is slim. Neurologic exams should also be normal in this scenario, but regular MRI scan of the brain with and without contrast would, however, be appropriate. What if the neck eye pain switched from one side to the other with different attacks? What does that mean? Switching a pain from one side to the other is a strong feature of migraine. This would be more convincing data supporting migraine as a cause. Would not pain behind the eye give concern that the patient has an aneurysm? Possibly, if it just stays on the side side with every attack, but not if the pain switches sides, like coming from the right side with one attack and left with different attacks. A person with a head pain like migraine that switches from side to side should be reassured that they likely have no abnormal aneurysm or AVM or tumor in their head, but it's always reassuring to the patient and the doctor to do an MRI scan to check it out. Aneurysms generally only have symptoms when they rupture, and that's usually with a dramatic clinical presentation with a seizure or development of double vision, a blown dilated pupil, or coma. Most persons who have headache symptoms before aneurysm rupture have had attacks of migraine. The bottom line pain of pain behind the eye is usually migraine, especially if it has migraine features, a normal neurologic exam, and MRI scan of the brain. So thank you very much for listening to me today. Please click on subscribe down there and like, and I'll see you again on my next talk.